So look, if you want to grow your wealth, your income, and increase the amount of time off, then these are the shortcuts that can help. Welcome to the Wealth Creation Podcast. And welcome everybody, it's Dan, hope you're well today, welcome to the Business Growth Show. So what we're going to talk about today is about posting content and what we're talking about is digital marketing content uh, because you're going to find these four things begin to happen the more that you post and we're going to run through some of these because I think you find these quite interesting. So obviously one of the very first things that you find that happens when you begin to post more content is that you get greater brand awareness and so people are just more familiar with you and Uh, They're not just familiar with you as a person, but they're familiar with you as a business. And so when your business or you or your product or service enters the consciousness of your end user, when they then see you driving around in your car or whatever that happens to be, um, or they see more posts or they see an offer or something like that, then what tends to happen is that they have this greater brand awareness um, for who you actually are and what you do and all of that kind of thing. And so it just makes sales so much more easier to uh, get to the end, you know, the finishing line, if you like. Um, and so greater brand awareness, it just um, raises trust. It raises uh, honesty. It raises all these different ways um, of... Um, Uh, being recognized by your target audience. So in terms of greater brand awareness, it really has a a big impact. And I'm hesitating here because we just had an offer through on a property, so I can see it coming through. (laughs) Uh, So, you know, if you're not out there on social media right now and you're kind of struggling to close business or you want to grow your business and you want to close more business, then you've got to increase your brand awareness. You've got to get in front of your customers. In marketing, it's fish where the fish are. Well, where the fish? Well, everyone's on LinkedIn. Everyone's on Facebook. Everyone's on Twitter. Everyone's on Instagram. Everyone's on TikTok. Everyone is on a uh, YouTube. Everyone is on a combination of all these different platforms. And so you've got to get your messaging out across all of those different platforms. Uh, because that's really the only way that you're going to grow your business in 2024. You've got to be pushing yourself out online and putting out more content, showing people how stuff works, talking about your product or your industry of a marketplace. That's going to help create, um, create greater brand awareness. Um, the next one then is perceived expertise. And so this is where the marketplace will have a greater perception of you as a master in your business, or in your marketplace. You're a master of arts at whatever it is that you happen to do. And so you, your perceived expertise increases. So like me going live every day, for example, and we talk about marketing a lot. We talk about other things as well, but we talk about marketing and business growth a lot. So Um, we're able to demonstrate our expertise. And so because we're demonstrating our expertise, we have uh, an increase in the perceived level of our expertise. And so that works very well as well. And then one of the next ones, which I always love, by the way, um, and if you've not got haters yet, you're not kind of, you're not really trying hard enough, you know, Uh, but pissing off your competitors, there's nothing like that, is there? Um, And pissing off your haters and all those people that are watching, you know, they hate you so much that they watch from afar and the seething when they see you going live or when you, you know, you've been successful or all of that kind of thing. So it's like, it's, I think that's a real positive thing. It's one of the things that gets me out of bed on the morning. Uh, knowing that you're pissing people off who don't like you. And, uh, you know, I'm sure everybody loves me. Of course, everybody must love me. Uh, <laughs> Well, maybe there's one or two that doesn't, but if we can, you know, annoy them a little bit, that's really awesome. I quite enjoy doing that. Uh, But certainly pissing off your haters, that's got to be a good thing, right? And then the next thing that's really weird, by the way, when you begin to post out a lot more content is you go to networking events and people know who you are. Um, People come up to you and you go and they go, Ah, I've seen your lives or I've listened to every one of your podcasts, every video you've ever done. I'm the the one that's watched them. Literally, these are the words that that I've heard come out of people's mouths. And so you get this recognition um, at networking events um, where people come up to you. And by the way, having recognition, it's not just at networking events, but, you know, they'll drop you a message and say, now I've listened to all of your podcasts and can we book in a strategy call? And by the way, the link is down below. But that's what they say. They, you know, I've watched everything. I know who you are. I know, I know you can help me. I just want to know what you can do and how much it will cost me. Like, it just breaks down all these barriers 
to entry into getting into uh, doing some business with potential customers. And so if if you combine all four of these things, your business is only going to go one way and that's upwards. Like you are literally removing barriers for people to do business with, um, with you, with. And if you can do that, you're going to have a more successful business. And yeah, look, I know it takes time and I know it takes effort and sometimes it can be more challenging. We as a business actually help you streamline that. You know, we have our interviews, which work so well. We get so much content out of those interviews uh, where you just get to talk about yourself and your business and how it helps people. It's so easy. Um, and so that that works really well for us with our, our digital marketing clients to get content for them. Uh, and obviously, if you want to do something like that, then just hit me up. Uh, but if you can combine all four of these wonderful things, then you're going to start closing a lot more business. Right. I hope that's useful for you. We'll catch up with you on the next one. My name's Dan Latter. Have a great day. Take care. Hey, it's Dan here. Thank you for listening. Really appreciate each and every one of you. Please click like or subscribe to the entire podcast.